Okay, welcome back. Today's lesson is life cycle analysis. What I would like you to do is, as I go through the PowerPoint, copy it out on some paper. This will help you to structure your response to your exam question. So we're looking at a life cycle analysis of a plastic bottle. There's a link up there if you want to use it. It just gives you good insight into plastic bottles and the life cycle around them. So what is a life cycle analysis? It's the looking into products impact on the environment for its life. So I've got a little key. These are things I'm going to be talking about today on how to make that um, product more responsible. So first of all, I'm going to go through the process. So raw material acquisition for a plastic bottle. Raw material is extracted for this, it's going to be oil. The bottle is manufactured, so the oil is turned into plastic, stock forms. It's manufactured and through blow moulding, made into bottles. Products are distributed, packaged and sent off to supermarkets and shops. Product is used, purchased and consumed. And then the product can be used, recycled and reprocessed into the stock form. So if you go through the recycling route, it can start again. Or it can be disposed and the product is sent to landfill. So improvements to materials. For the bottles, they could choose more sustainable materials for the making. That will make it more responsible. They could make for single type plastic so you don't have to separate the materials at the end of its life. Choosing a biodegradable polymer, so something that decomposes within landfill. Making your bottle out of less processes, so refining that process. Using CAD modelling techniques to ensure that what you are doing is efficient, okay, and what processes you have used are the best ones. New production methods, so researching into new production methods potentially could make it easier to make it. Using fuel efficient lorries, so you could use either hybrids or electric lorries. Using more sustainable materials to improve the public image. So kind of marketing your product as being something that's better for the environment. Okay, so we're going to move on now to the exam question. So this is one of the big exam style questions we get at the end. Use to get busy methods, so box your command words, underlines, structure response, you are ready. So this is the question. Discuss how a company can present a more responsible image to customers by carrying out life cycle analysis of their products. So box to command words, discuss, responsible image to customers, carrying out a life cycle analysis. So this is worth six marks. So before we start, before we have a go at this, it is not actually to go through what a life cycle analysis is. It is actually to go through the life cycle analysis method to give suggestions on how to create a more responsible image. So this question is key that you use this method, get busy, in order for you to structure out what it is asking you. <clears throat> Things we could talk about then. Things you can talk about in your answer. Material improvements design improvements, manufacturing improvements, distribution, and we could even talk about PR. Have a go at the question, and then I'm going to show you my answer. So if you pause the video, and then press play when you've finished. So this is my answer. I'm going to read it for you. Life cycle analysis is a way of analysing products life, and then using that to gain information into how to make the product more responsible in terms of environmental considerations. The first point is the materials of a product. Could the materials be done in a more responsible way? One way is to keep the product material types limited, for example, using one type of plastic, so it is easy to recycle. Another suggestion is using materials that are easier to be recycled, like materials such as aluminium. In the event where materials cannot be recycled, could there be a way in which they can biodegrade? Materials such as potato pack, polymer-like materials that break down easily in landfill. Could the product be designed in a way that makes it easy to be disassembled, therefore more likely to recycle or in the event of larger production, such as cars, that part could simply be repaired. 
manufacture of a product could be made better and more efficient through the use of CAD modelling and simulations. This could potentially help to reduce the amount of manufacturing process needed for the product. When distributing the products, they could select companies that use energy efficient or electric powered vehicles. Finally, the product itself through packaging could tell customers and consumers steps the company has taken to ensure the product has been acquired, processed, distributed and consumed in a responsible way. If I was marking that, I would definitely give that six marks. And the mark scheme says, detailed discussion, which we had, clear understanding shown of a life cycle analysis to present a more responsible image to customers. So I would say that's definitely up there. These are the points you could have included. So what I want you to do now is give yourself a mark out of six. Thanks for listening.